Welcome back to the Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business on this Monday morning. Let's spend some time talking to Bill Cobb. He's an expert on business plans. It looks like today is Business Plan Monday. We've got a couple of stories related to this. Bill adding to that, contributing to that today. Bill, welcome to the program. Kind of give us your elevator speech and tell us what your company is all about. Well, thank you for inviting me. My company is called Targeted Tactics, and we're all about helping new entrepreneurs and new small business owners learn to become more successful. Okay. Kind of give me a panoramic overview of all that you offer. Well, you know, primarily what happens with most young companies, as you know, they won't take their family on a road trip without a roadmap, but unfortunately they'll risk their family fortunes without a business plan. So what we try to do is point out the attributes of what's required to help them to put together a plan that actually has a chance for success. So okay. we try and help them build the roadmap. Can I give you an overview of your clientele, uh, types of businesses, size of companies? Sounds like you have an emphasis on the uh, newer business, uh, although obviously they naturally need one, but a, a lot of smart companies will will get their business plan updated annually. But kind of give us an overview of industry, size of business, uh, those type of things. No, I think that's fair. We put our emphasis more on economic development, meaning trying to help new companies get going and get started. But we also work very actively with mid-sized companies, I would say in the area of uh, 10 to $50 million. And the reason we do that is simply that uh, companies reach plateaus, and when they get there, they often lose their way. And sometimes an outside perspective can help them get back on track and, and get things going in the right direction. So we enjoy helping those as well. Sure. So kind of more uh, mid-market size companies. Mid-market. Brand new and mid-market. We uh, try to stay away from the big boys because uh, they have the ability to hire smart people too. Yeah. A lot of times they have all that internally. Sometimes that stuff comes directly out of the CFO with the CMO. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, um, what, uh, what kind of investment is involved for getting a business plan through you? Well, for us, it depends on, again, the size of the company, but we basically have a virtual team, meaning that none of us pretend we know everything. So when I am the principal that does most of the work simply because of my background, I'm a Fortune 50 executive and entrepreneur, and when I get involved, I normally find something I don't know anything about, and we'll go out and we'll try and get help, for example, in manufacturing. I'm not a manufacturing engineer. I don't know how to do that, but I know people who do. So what I do is I have a network of other executives that I can pull together to help fill in the blanks. So depending on the complexity of the business, we can be engaged for uh, three months, or we can be engaged for over a year. Yep. Um, can you give an idea of what kind of investment involved based on a smaller size company? Or is there well, just you know, too many, uh, too again, many variables? I have to get greedy here because um, we understand small companies have, have challenges. So with the kind of investment on um, our time would be on their time, pardon me, uh, again, depending on the development stage. If they're in a planning and raising capital stage, uh, we require a great deal of their time investment. And then normally we will try and negotiate a partnership agreement with them to help them get that accomplished. If they're uh, at a little later stage, they're operating and looking to expand, again, depending on what the needs of the company are, if it's uh, developing a better market plan to help them grow, uh, we can make the time investment to do that. Or if it's a question of just putting a financing plan together and helping them source capital, uh, we do our best to help them with that as well. So the bill in terms of business money, plan. I can tell you, you know, it's anywhere from 5000 to $20,000, uh, depending on what you want us to do. Yeah. Talking to Bill Cobb, talking about business plans, talking about what you need to know. What are some of the, mis- what are some of the more uh, common mistakes people make in developing a business plan? Well, the two things that we find most of our business owners struggle with are market planning and financial planning. They don't put enough and energy into the market planning, and they certainly don't take the time uh, to go through the discipline of developing the financial models. So those are the two things that we normally get asked to do the most work on. And then from that, the other elements normally fall out of that, meaning manufacturing, supply chain, uh, et cetera. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's really shocking uh, because, you know, the reason why people would go into business is for money. But uh, the money part is often the hardest part for them to wrap their mind around. And they're almost like kids. So, well, I'm going to have fun doing this. Well, that's great, but are you going to make money? Because if you're doing this for uh, 50, 60 hours a week and you're not making money, it soon stops being fun. Well, I think the hard thing for people to recognize is that, you know, money is the universal language of commerce. Everything is translated into dollars simply because we need a common language. So the common language for quantifying what it is we do and what it costs and what we sell it for is all part of the financial equation. And if you're not willing to take the time to do that, I believe you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. So how long have you guys been in business? Since 2006. We've been around a while, but uh, we're very quiet. We work under non-disclosure, so we don't necessarily run around tooting our own horn. We're very fortunate that we have a good referral base. And as a result of that, uh, we're doing okay. Yep. And uh, how's, how are things going in 2013? I mean, 2014, rather. I'm stuck at well, 2013. Well, we're, we're off but... to an early start. We've got one little company up here in northern Colorado that we have high expectations for. Uh, I love their business plan because it's elegant in its simplicity. And uh, hopefully uh, when I get out of there, they'll be doing just fine on their own. So I've got to wrap it up. Give us your uh, website one more time before we let you go. Well, thank you, Kevin. You can find me at uh, targetedtactics.com. That's T-A-R-G-E-T-E-D dash tactics.com. And you can find our publication, which is called Business Alchemy, Turning Ideas into Gold, at www.bizalchemy.com. I'm Kevin Price, and we come back much more for you. Do you want to remind you? Best content here shows up over there at the National News website, usmreview.com. You're listening to The Price of Business.